This is what you need to know if you're be going to be doing business in China. So probably one of the most important thing and the first point is to know about face. Face is basically your reputation uh, when doing the meetings in China. So the more compliments you give, the nicer you are to the people, then the more face you get. The more like negatives you expose about your business or the more like you know mean you are, that means you get less face. So you also need to know your stuff, like you need to know your business. You walk in there, you know nothing about your business, you know, that's like minus face as well. So you're not gonna be doing very well. Um, sure, uh, you have paper handouts as well. So, um, you know, there's different colors in China that mean different things. So you're gonna wanna know those colors as well. Paper handouts, you know, make it easier to uh, to understand things, you know, if you're just standing here and you're saying stuff, they might not get it all unless they have it on paper. Uh, you also need to expect the language differences in China. So in China, you know, I, I don't know any Chinese. Oh, ni hao. Ni hao means hello. That's like the only thing I know in Chinese. So you should expect them not to pronounce English as well. And if you speak Chinese, you need to know that you don't have perfect Chinese. Uh, you also need to be proper, of course, come in on time, wear a nice suit and tie. Don't, you know, be wearing like what I'm wearing. It's kind of, you know, you gotta be proper. That's, you gotta be proper with any uh, country, going to America too, living in America. You should also avoid hand movements because the Chinese don't really use hand movements when talking about things. So to do this, it might come off as offensive or it just make, might make you seem weird. So those are the six points of the things that you need to do when conducting business in China.